Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating a prop template from the props in an existing map or in a new map that you create. I have this room here where I have created this rustic broken old table that I want to make a prop template out of. This is made out of multiple props that I have assembled to create this small tableau of a forgotten table. In order to create a prop template, firstly I need to select all of the props and place them in a single folder within my layers and levels stack. To access that stack, all I do is simply select the layers and levels tab, I select the room that I'm particularly in, and I go to the content. You can see here I have created a subfolder called Rotten Table. Within that subfolder you'll see I have added all of the various props to it that I want to include in the prop template. I now select this collective table once by left clicking on it and notice it has the create prop template option. I'm going to create this prop, I'm going to call it rotting table which is already drawn from the folder name that I created when I was creating this entire collection. I can add it to a category. I could make my own category and let's say it's fantasy or more appropriately I would say that this is furniture. I can add some tags in. I could call it table. Now I press enter after each word to log the keyword into the tag function. I could say broken table. I could say rotting food. That's enough for now. The more you add the more searchable it is. I can then create the template. Now that the prop template has been created, we can leave this map and create another map using the prop template. I have a blank map here, which we can now add our props to. To access our prop templates, we simply select the prop tab, and then we change our dropdown from content subscription, we change to templates. And you'll notice that all of the templates that you have created have now been brought up here. There is the category I made, Furniture, and the Rotting Table is presently there. I've made another category called Sci-Fi, and I've created a large tank ensemble of props. To place the prop, I simply left-click on the prop and place it down onto the map as I normally would. It preserves everything with regards to this particular prop collection. In other words, if I select the Select tool, you'll notice that the entire collection of props is still within the folder that we originally created and is exactly how we had it in our original map. We can, of course, access each of the props and manipulate them as we would so normally do under all normal circumstances. This does not affect the original prop template in any way. Something to bear in mind is the size of your map. This map is 70 pixels in size. In other words, the dots per inch is set to 70, a default for most VTTs. However, if you are creating prop templates from a map that has a bigger or smaller size, the prop template will be brought in at the original size it was created at. For example, the sci-fi tank assembly that I created was for a map that was set at 300 dpi. So notice when I bring it in, it is still set at 300 dpi. This means it is incredibly large. I would either need to rescale my map or select the prop collections and shrink it down to being the size that I would want it to be. Again, this does not affect the original prop at all, merely the prop as it stands here on the actual map itself. And that is how you create prop templates in Dungeon Fog.